Welcome to the Fray Flag Pack. It's Termex here, and welcome back to another Wonderlands video. Now, today I do want to talk about a Wonderlands interaction that I have been thinking about quite a bit, but not only me, but some other people in the Borderlands community have noticed it as well, and I do want to talk about it with you guys today. But really quick, I've never done this before. I don't know if I still should. I don't even know if I'm going to keep this part in the video. But if you are pre-ordering Wonderlands or you plan on pre-ordering it, if you are using the Epic Launcher on PC because it's exclusive to it for the first six months, make sure you guys use my code. It's just, it's Termex. It, I get a tiny little kickback from it. But if you guys do use it, uh, let me know on Twitter, I guess, because... Uh, yeah, I, that, that's cool and no, all. Back, back to the video. Now, talking about this combo that I thought was pretty dang interesting. Now, just for starters, let me give you guys some context. We're going to actually start off with the Spore Warden. Now, the Spore Warden's capstone is a skill called Play the Angles, and this is where the Fate Maker's gun critical hits have a chance to ricochet, dealing reduced ability damage to a nearby enemy, and we get the little reduced damage, probably very similar to Gage's Anarchy when she used it in Borderlands 2, but the ability damage shouldn't be too much lower. Now, these ricochet shots have a small chance to ricochet in additional time, basically kind of doing what Flack did with Fadeaway and Stagecoach. But what Flack did was, when he went invisible, he had guaranteed crits, so Jacob's specific weaponry was able to ricochet from enemy to enemy. But now in Wonderlands, this ability isn't manufacturer specific and it's just a general critical hit for any weapon in the game. Now I'm sure it's gonna have its limitations to projectiles or fancy projectiles within the game. I don't think you're going to be able to use a rocket launcher and ricochet it. I mean, unless you can, then this whole build I'm thinking about is even more busted. Keep that in mind, right? Keep in mind that Spore Warden's critical hits have ricocheting rounds, guaranteed, as long as it's a critical hit. And now this is where things get crazy. If you're maining Stabomancer, for this to work, I, I'm pretty sure you have to main Stabomancer. I could be wrong. I don't know if your subclass, you gain those abilities or not. Maybe I'm dumb. But if you do have From the Shadows, which is Stabomancer's fadeaway ability, quote unquote, he enters stealth mode, turning invisible. And while he is stealth, all damage he deals is automatically a critical hit. This is basically just Flax Gorillas in the Mist ability from Borderlands 2. I could just showcase it right now. It is basically the same exact thing where you pop into fadeaway for a prolonged duration and you could shoot as much as you want and you're going to have guaranteed critical hits. Now, where does this get broken term? I'm, I'm still not connecting the dots. Half of you probably have. But what I'm trying to get to here is on top of the guaranteed critical hits from Stabomancer and the guaranteed ricochets from Spore Warden's Capstone, we are getting guaranteed ricocheted projectiles for just shooting at enemies. And this can have so many possibilities that are endless. You can just pop into Fade Away. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm going to call it Fade Away. I know it's called From the Shadows, but it's freaking Fade Away. Fight me about it. Now, with this, you could do just a whole on ricochet build. I'm thinking about making like Ricochet Warden, like kind of like Moxie's Ricochet Witch. Don't tell him I got that name idea. But not only that, but we have a bunch of other skills when it comes to both of these classes that work great in unison. Now, like with one of the skills on Stabomancer is the faster you move, the more damage you do. Kind of like Violent Momentum from Zane in Borderlands 3. Imagine using that with Spore Warden's bow getting like a critical hit. You know what I mean? Like the damage and synergies between these two classes is insane. And this is why I've been wanting to do Spore Mancer for such a long time now, because I have so many different build options in my brain that I really want to do and provide for you guys, but I did want to talk about this first just in case in the future this gets nerfed and nobody even knows about it. But yeah, I am going to be running Spore Mancer, which is just primary Spore Warden, secondary Stabomancer. Now, if you cannot interchange action skills with your subclass, you would actually have to do Stabo Warden, which would be primary Stabomancer and secondary Spore Warden. But like I said, this is just a very insane combo, and on top of that, there's a bunch of status effect skills within both of these skill trees that can make all these builds even better, because you would have the ricochets on top of the status effects, and then the status effects would weaken the enemies. And I know there's other class combinations that are equally as powerful, but I feel like if you're looking for a gun crit centric build within Wonderlands, this is going to be your way to go. Especially when it comes to using weapons in Wonderlands, I think it's going to be very smooth. And I think using a gun centric character isn't necessarily a bad thing, even though we have all these spells and new things within the game. But honestly, I'm really excited to get into these subclasses and get into Spore Warden in general. This combo is just something I really wanted to share with the community, maybe let you guys know about it if you haven't already. 
And um, yeah, let you guys be aware that a good gun build will be possible within Wonderlands, and you're not going to be secluded to just action skills and melee weapons and spells, even though those are all justifiably just as fun. But yeah, if you guys want to stick around for my future Borderlands and Wonderlands contents, I'm going to be basing my builds around Spore Warden and Stablemancer, so if you want to stick around for that, you guys can click the good old subscribe button down below. And if you guys did really enjoy this video, make sure you guys hit the like button. It spreads my videos out more to the Borderlands and Wonderlands community. But you guys have a terrific day. Consider joining my Discord, which is in the link in the description below. All about my channel, all about where my save files will be. Keep up to date with me and all that fun stuff. But anyways, I will see you guys... Later.